Hello and welcome. Good morning. I hope you're doing well. I hope you slept amazing. And I just want to thank you for joining me today. I'm uh, doing a morning wake up to get the blood flowing and set the tone for the day. So thanks for being here, you guys. Uh, water handy if you need it. And um, just a smile on your face as soon as you can find it. Let's sit up nice and tall. Give those shoulders a big roll up and back and let those shoulders slide down and away. Do that again. Big shoulder roll. Up and back. Uh, no better way to let go of that tension just initially. Mm, in the neck and the shoulders. Let's bring those hands down by your side. Sit up nice and tall. Press those palms firmly into the mat. And as you exhale, chin towards the chest. Just checking in. Inhale, head up nice and tall. And as you exhale, lean the head to the right. Right ear over the right shoulder. Mm, just feel that gentle pull. Great stretch. Inhale, head up nice and tall. And as you exhale, lean that head to the left. Breathe. Inhale, head up nice and tall. Bring the hands behind your head. Interlace your fingers and then just gently pull that chin down. Close the elbows around the ears and just feel that great stretch all the way down your back. Inhale, head up nice and tall. Release those hands. Let's turn and come forward up onto the, towards the top of the mat to a tabletop. Hands shoulder width apart, knees hip width, core is nice and strong. We take a big breath in to cow pose. Tummy down towards the mat. Lift your gaze, lift your sit bones to the sky. And as you exhale, hollow the tummy and chest. Lift your spine, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone to cat. We inhale it to cow. And exhale it to cat. Let's do one more each direction. Big inhale. Big full exhale. And come back to that neutral spine, extending left leg straight out to the side, sole of the foot to the earth. We rotate the body and extend left arm to the sky. Reach it up just as high as you can reach. Lengthen out of the shoulder up to the tips of the fingers and then slowly let that arm open out to the side. Oh, beautiful stretch through the front of the shoulder, through the chest, through the spine. Inhaling that left arm to the sky and as you exhale, releasing that left hand down. We shift our weight to that left hand. Right hand's going to sweep through and out towards those left toes. Shoulder to the mat, side of the head to the mat. Rotate your body, left arm back to the sky. Breathe. So we've transitioned down to the shoulder, getting a really nice stretch through that upper and middle back. And again, if it feels right to you, allow that left arm to open out to the side. A little deeper stretch. Making sure that the body says, yep, this is a good place to be. Inhale, lift that left arm to the sky. Slowly release your hand down. Press it back up to tabletop. And let's pull that left knee back in. Right leg extends straight out to the side. Sole of the foot to the earth. We rotate our bodies and extend. Right arm to the sky. Reach it up. Lengthen out of the shoulder up to the tips of the fingers. Breathe, and as you exhale, slowly let that arm open out to the side as the tummy and chest open towards the sky. Close your eyes. Breathe. Inhale, lift that right arm to the sky and then slowly release it down, shifting your weight to that right hand. Left arm is going to reach out towards those right toes. Far as you can reach, coming down onto the shoulder and the side of the head. Rotating your body and extend. Right arm to the sky. Reach it up. Breathe. A variation of our thread the needle. If it feels right to you, allow that right arm to open out to the side once again. Turning the tummy and chest towards the sky. Working to get that right shoulder blade towards the earth. Big full deep breaths, guys. Promoting flexibility in the spine shoulder, 
Inhale, lifting that right arm back to the sky, slowly releasing your hand down, and we press it back up to the hands and pull that right knee back in to tabletop. Let's sit it back to child's pose. Extend those arms out nice and long, hips back towards your heels. Relax the weight of your head. And just breathe. Extending those arms out nice and long, hands shoulder width apart. We're going to inhale it up to a modified high plank. Shoulders right over those fingertips. Breathe. Lengthen through the crown of the head, and as you exhale, sit it back to child's pose. Glue your hands to the mat. And inhale it back up to that modified plank. This time, if you like, add a tricep push-up. Elbows right by the ribs and press it back to child's pose. We're going to do that one more time. You can do that with or without the push-up. You decide what's right for your body. Just staying strong through that core and sit it back to child's pose. Arms are extended out nice and long. We lift the forehead, tuck the toes, press and lift your hips to the sky, up to our downward facing dog. Right knee bends, left heel presses towards the mat. And switch sides, left knee bends, right heel presses towards the mat. Switch once again. And one more time. We inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders toward your thighs, reach your sit bones high. And as you exhale, let your heels gently sink. We shift our weight to our left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot through. Let's bring that back knee to the mat. Untuck the toes, lift the arms to a half crescent. Hips are heavy coming forward. Shoulders are soft and away from those ears. Breathe. We pull the hands to heart center and turn, placing that left elbow to the right knee, pressing against the knee and working again to bring those hands towards heart center. Hips are still heavy coming forward and find that breath. We turn back to face front, placing that right hand to the top of the thigh, left arm extends to the sky, arch it back, a little or a lot. And inhale it back up, releasing your left hand down, right hand down, tuck your toes, lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend right leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog, and let's alternate bending knees. Walk it out. As you exhale, let both heels sink. We inhale it to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through, up dog. And exhale to down dog. And we shift our weight to our right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot through. Back knee to the mat, untuck those toes. We lift those arms to our half crescent. Shoulders are soft and away from the ears. Breathe. Hips are heavy. Pulling those hands to heart center, we turn and place that right elbow to the left knee, pressing against the knee and working to bring those hands towards heart center. Breathe. We turn back to face front, placing that left hand to the top of the thigh, right arm extends to the sky, arch it back. A little or a lot. Breathe. And inhale it back up, releasing that right hand to the inside of the foot, left hand to the outside of the foot, tuck the toes, lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend left leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog. And let's alternate bending knees. Walk it out. As you exhale, let both heels sink. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk, step, or hop to forward fold. Relaxing the weight of the upper body down. Arms are heavy. 
Breathe, bending those knees as much as you need to, letting the tummy and chest come to rest on your thighs. Circle the arms around behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Bring your hands to just rest. Relax the weight of your head. Give your head a little shake. Feels right to you. Roll those shoulders up and back and lift your hands towards the sky. Breathe. So getting that full body in 10 minutes, guys. I know sometimes we're like, oh, I don't have time. I don't have time for yoga. Yes, you do. You have time to take care of yourself. You have 10 minutes to spend on you. Let's bring those hands to the small of the back and gently release those arms down. Let them hang. Extend those legs and slowly roll it up one vertebra at a time. Oh, you guys, that time we spend on ourselves, even if it's just a short time, it's worth it. Take the time. Roll those shoulders up and back. Shoulders slide down and away. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, left hand down, right arm high, lean in and reach. Oh, reach as far as you can in both directions. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, other side, lean in and reach. Inhale, both arms come up. Pull the hands to heart center. Let's step those feet about the width of our mat. Toes are slightly turned off. Heels remain on. And let's begin to bend those knees, lowering your bottom down. Breathe. Just progressing as much as feels good to you. Ah, uh, We can come all the way down if that feels okay. And I just want you to rock side to side a little bit. Elbows along the insides of the knee. Just rocking and then come to center, pressing the outer edge of your foot towards the mat. Breathe, getting into those hips. Release your hands, walk, step, or hop to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through, up dog. And sit it back to child's pose. Find your breath, slow it down. And let's slowly walk those hands back up. And we're going to sweep that right foot back, left foot forward. And we're going to make a straight line across the top of the mat with that left shin. Right leg, kind of wherever it needs to be, if you'd like, making a 90 degree bend here with that right leg. And we're going to sit up nice and tall. Nice stretch in that right hip. Oh, and even in that left hip. Feel that length in the spine and then slowly, slowly start to walk your tummy out over that left thigh. You can support with your hands as much as you need to. You can extend those arms out if you like. You can stack your hands. Just find a comfortable place. And I say comfortable with tongue in cheek. So a little uncomfortable, but nothing painful. Just finding that breath, slowing it down. And wherever those arms need to be, guys, let them be there. Just a little love for the hip, the lower back. And let's slowly press back up. Now we're just going to rock those knees whoop, and flip to the other side. So making a 90 degree bend with that thigh. And then again, recreating that 90 degrees. And we're going to sit up nice and tall. So 90 degrees with the shin and the thigh bone. Sit tall, hands out by your side. And then as you're ready, slowly start to walk the tummy and chest right out over that right thigh. And again, you can extend those arms. You can stack the hands. You can support with those forearms. Just whatever feels good to you. And I want it never to be painful. Challenging, yes. Easy, that would be amazing. But really just listen to your body, guys. Does one side hold a little more tension tightness than the other? Probably so. And let's slowly walk those hands back up. And we're going to come to butterfly, bringing the soles of the feet together. 
sitting up nice and tall, pulling those heels in towards your bottom. Let's interlace those fingers and bring them around the outside edge of your foot. Ah, sit up nice and tall and press those knees down. Take a big breath in, and as you exhale, begin to hinge forward. Come and forward as far as feels good to you. Breathe, lengthen. Beautiful stretch in those hips. We lengthen through the crown of the head and slowly rise. Releasing those hands, crisscross those legs. Close your eyes. Let's bring the hands to the shins just below the knees. Take a big breath in, press the chest forward, arch your back, gaze to the sky. And as you exhale, hollow the tummy and chest. Oh, tuck your chin. Inhale, press it through, arch your back, gaze to the sky. So whether you're an early, early riser or a little bit later, uh, nothing better, you guys, than to start your day with a little stretching, little yoga, a little breathing. One more time, each direction. I just hope your day is amazing. Last one to the back. And inhale it up nice and tall. Rest your hands comfortably in your lap. However you wish. We're going to close our eyes and breathe. And we're going to take a moment with a grateful heart. Thankful for today. Doing our best to make today a great day. Celebrating all of the little things that make a big difference. Let's gently bring the hands to heart center. A gentle tuck of your chin down towards your chest. And a heart felt, the spirit in me honors the spirit in you, which means namaste. Have an amazing day, my friends. Be well.